So today I'd like to talk a little bit about some of the design changes that we've made recently on our Case Ready Meat gas analyzer. You may be familiar with the tri-gas units measuring CO, CO2, and oxygen. Uh, back uh, several months ago we had a customer that was having stability problems with their oxygen reading. Uh, we went to visit them and determined that uh, we did have some issues with the analyzer. We found uh, that for whatever reason we could not duplicate the problem they were having in our uh, test setup back at our factory. So what we did is we found that it needed to be uh, a little bit colder in our uh, testing operation and also we had to take a longer test in order to see the problem. And so what we saw was a instability in the oxygen reading and it would take several hours to occur and this was what the customer was finding that they'd be fine in the morning and then as it got to be midday or afternoon they would start to see stability problems on the oxygen sensor so what we did is we we took the existing oxygen sensor which normally if you took it out of the case was mounted onto a manifold on the outside we removed it from the outside and we and we placed it internally into the analyzer and when we did that we were able to get a warmer ambient temperature internally and that helped quite a bit but it wasn't enough and so what we did is we switched from our red band analyzer to what we're calling a blue band analyzer the blue band is much more stable from zero to a half percent oxygen, which is really where our customers like to run. And so this is a much better sensor. It's actually, uh, our cost is twice as expensive uh, because it's so much better. But anyway, that fits internally. We still have this ledge here because we do have the battery packs underneath, but that goes internally. And the combination of having it warmer inside and a different sensor that's more stable at less than a half percent oxygen has given us a much better analyzer for our customers. So all of our new units now are configured with this new sensor internally. And units that come back from customers, we are requiring that they change this as well. So we are implementing that upgrade on all service analyzers as of September of 2018. Thank you.